is a belated update. So we have Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Sorry about the shadows. It's early in the morning. And there's the little devil, which I believe is Huey. There's the little ghost. That is, um, wait, no, Huey. Dewey is little ghost. And Louie, I believe, is the little witch. And I just got his hat on. Okay, so they're very, very close to be done. What's taking forever is the hands. I can only do so much and then it gets too heavy. And so the clay has to dry and then I put on layer upon layer upon layer to get the shape. Uh, this doesn't look like much right now, but this is going to be witch hazel. I just was realizing that the, the armature was too tall. She's only just a few inches taller than the uh, the ducks. So I was like, oops. So we had to fix that. I'm gonna bulk her up. And I'm gonna start, she's kind of like at an angle. I'll show you in a minute with the little uh, statue that I've got. Um, let's see, so here is, again, doesn't look like much, but this is the, the head of the horse. And over here is the progress on the headless horseman. Okay. Minus the head, of course. The horse meaning, not the man. He doesn't need a head. Yay! I only have to do one head. Ah, the sun's right in my face. Okay, so he's coming along nicely. Let me see if I can back up. <coughs> there we go. Again, he's over nine feet tall. I just ordered a sword. My son's sword is actually too short. It doesn't look proportional. So I ordered another plastic pirate sword and I'm going to have to probably cut off the handle, that little wrap around part. And that'll work nicely. And then I'm working on the pumpkin. I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, he's ginormous and the surface area is really, is taking a very long time. I have lost track on how many batches of clay I've put on him, but I'm guessing like seven or eight at this point. Still have to do the mane, the rest of the neck, uh, the tippy, actually his other arm. I'm close. I got, let's see. Oh, I almost made it. On the other side here, and then his chest a little bit. <clears throat> I think this is a little too wide up there, so I'm gonna have to strap that down a little bit with some tape and then form his hand. I'll have like a hole or something that the sword will go in. This will be easy because the pumpkin will just slip down. I'm actually forming the hand on the pumpkin. I'll show you that in a minute. So that's that. And I got a couple side projects going on here. I am trying to fix Buckbeak. He's gonna go away pretty soon. And then this right here is a good friend of mine is doing, I think I mentioned this if I didn't already. Sorry, um, this is gonna be the sandworm from Beetlejuice. My friend's doing Beetlejuice for her her haunt this year, and so I'm going to make that for her. It's gonna be absolutely huge. And not quite life-size, but close. Okay, so that's kind of putting a dent in things, but I'm getting things done. Here is, so here's the pumpkin, all right? So he is all done. Uh, I just have to touch up some paint, obviously, and then he's yellow in the middle, insides, because I'm going to put a yellow LED light in there, battery operated, and he's going to glow up yellow, but really cool. Here is the hand, okay, glove, gloved hand, and then it looks like it's solid, dried out, so I'm going to sand that up, and I'm going to uh, asphalt paint that, seal it up, and then paint it black, and then I'm just, this is just going to slip right over it, that wood up there, and then that, that part's going to be done, so well, that's good. Uh, I'm making the devil's tail right now, I'll show you that in a minute. Here's the other side of the ducks. They were hard, actually, they were really hard. Um, but they're coming together pretty nicely, the ghost is my favorite, he is super cute. Uh, I just did the end of his little um, sheet thing there. And after the hands are all finished, you can see kind of the progress. 
got to get it out and then I can put the fingers on layer by layer. This guy has, I just did this last night. That one's not quite dry and then I can put the next layer on probably tomorrow. It just takes a long time for that to be ready and you want it completely dry. Otherwise, if you try to put wet on wet, it just, it never dries and it falls apart and it's no good. Um, and then here, here's Witch Hazel's hat. And so it warped it on purpose. Uh, I just wasn't sure which way it was gonna go. First I thought it was gonna go the other way, but this is actually perfect because her hair, hat is warped like that and then I can make the bottom part. Okay, so let me take you in here real quick to the messy garage. I got my heat gun or uh, glue gun warming up because I have to attach, this is how I made the tail. It's just an aluminum foil piece with this piece that slips inside that PVC pipe. I got a hot glue, the little point on the end, and then I can clay this and make it smooth and nice, just like the little devil. So that'll be him. And then here's Witch Hazel. She does not stand up really well, so I have to put her in this foam. And so you can see the look of her. And that hat is really, really big. So that's going to be fun to make. And then I just have to get going on her. She's going to take some time. A lot of different angles and things going on with her. I think I'll have her just like that with even though that arm and that hand is going to be a little challenging. But we'll get that done. And then you can see on the Headless Horseman, what's left is the head, the mane, and the neck. And then, of course, the rest of the arms and then the cape. <laughs> Don't worry about the cape. I will figure that out. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've done some things with cardboard and clay, like Sally's hair, many, 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 many years ago. That worked. Um, I haven't quite decided. I could do a real cape and I could use, which would be a lot faster, um, and I could use fishing line to kind of pull it out a little bit for a dramatic effect, otherwise it's just gonna fall and lay. I haven't quite figured that out. I will I will, mm -hmm. I will. think about it and I will decide on what's the best course of action on that. It'll probably depend on how much time I have. Oh, and then one final project that's actually done. Here's the owl from Skeleton Dance. And he's very, very simple. He's very quick to make. He's got a hole there. He just sits on the PVC pipe on the tree and that's probably the only thing that I'm going to make from the skeleton dance because the rest of it's just going to be the skeletons, which I have a plenty. So that'll be easy, easy scene to make in the haunt. All right. Well, I will let you guys go and I will show you more progress soon. It's a little after, a little after Labor Day. So it's, we've got another roughly two months and I'm going to go, go, go. So you guys... Enjoy the season, and I'll talk to you soon. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Better give a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life serene. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat the whole night through. Little scalawags with fiendish gags can make it tough on you. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. 